Hello everybody! My name is Rachel, I'm with Bernina of Oklahoma City, and in this video we are going to look at how to create a sketch filled embroidery design in Bernina Embroidery Software 9. So I am on my home screen, I have apparently not opened anything recently. We're going to go to our embroidery canvas, and the first thing we need is artwork. So I'm going to click on insert artwork. And I want to find my Bernina 9 artwork. To do that, I'm going to go to my C drive, users, public, public pictures, Bernina 9 pictures, artwork. And in this, I'm looking for the 01 artwork by um, Gabby Seberg. I'm going to go to the garden folder. I'm going to do PNGs. So garden PNG, and I'm looking for garden 21, which I want to say is the very last one. So it's this nice row of flowers and you're going to open. Because it's a PNG, it has a transparent background or it doesn't have a background. I'm going to hit zero on my keyboard so I can see it a little bit better. And the only flower I care about is number four. The other four, I am not going to digitize. I'm just going to do this one on kind of middle end. So to start, I'm going to go to my auto digitize toolbox. I'm going to select my magic wand and I'm going to click on the picture. The magic wand tool um, was chosen because I can choose exactly what's going to digitize. But first I have to prepare my bitmap. So it sees nine different colors. It shows me the nine colors it sees um, as little um, thumbnails. That looks good. I'm going to say okay. And now with the magic wand, I want to click in the order I would want it to stitch. So I'm going to go from the center of the flower out. So the yellow center, orange ring, pink petals. And then that is all I want to do because I don't really want the stem or anything. I just want the flower. I'm going to hit escape because I have digitized everything I want. I'm going to click on my picture and I'm going to press delete on my keyboard to make it go away. I'm going to hit zero on my keyboard again, which will it show all. So it shows everything very nicely. Um, and so now I have these three colors going on. I don't really want three colors. I just want to look kind of more like a traditional flower. So have the yellow center and then pink petals. So I am going to select the orange, hold the control key down, select the pink. And I'm going to go to the edit tool box and select weld. Um, because those are touching, it welds those two objects together and makes them into one. Now I want to change my fill type. So I'm going to right click on the step fill icon at the bottom. And I'm just playing with the pink right now. And um, a sketch fill is a very loose fill. So um, you want a lower stitch density. But you'll notice in Optic Properties, there is nothing called stitch density. It is derived from the stitch spacing and the stitch length. I don't want to change my stitch length. Instead, I just want to change my stitch spacing. And I'm going to change it to 1.0 millimeters. I'm going to pull this off to the side so that when I click apply, you can see it's a much looser fill. But now there's, it doesn't look the best. So let's clean that up. We're going to go to effects. I'm going to pull it away as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is uncheck the underlay. And I'm going to click apply. Underlay is very important, but the looser a design is filled in, um, the more, uh, the less you underlay you need and you can get away without having it. If you're doing a sketch filled design, a very loose design, you don't want the underlay. Then, I'm going to go to my others tab because I still have some issues and travel on edges. I'm going to put check mark next to that and click apply. And now it follows the edges of the flower um, to travel instead of going randomly in the middle. And then I want to add something fun. So I'm going to go to the star and wave fill tab and we're going to do a star fill. So I'm going to put a check mark next to star fill and I'm going to click apply. And so what this does is it takes, um, there's a hole in the center. 
that you can't see because the design the object itself has a hole and it makes the stitches radiate out from that hole which I think makes it look really cool okay at this point I like how this looks I know I do have a little whoopsie thing over there we're gonna fix that in a second I'm gonna say okay and I'm going to change my center fill so I'm not gonna do really a sketch type fill with that instead I am just going to make it into a cross stitch so still a fairly loose um, fill but not really it's more of a pattern fill but I did that just by left clicking on cross stitch fill so now there's a few things I want to fix. The first thing I want to fix is I want an outline around my flower. Because it's traveling on edges, I have an outline some places, and I don't have an outline other places, so let's fix that. To do that, I'm going to select my pink. I'm going to go to outlines and offsets. And I have options. I do not want an offset outline. I just want an object outline. I want right on the edge of my object. I can choose different kinds of outline stitches. And when I was playing, I decided to use a back stitch. For my color, I want to choose that pink, which is number 59. So I'm just going to scroll to the very bottom and find the pink. Overlapping objects. There are no overlapping objects. It does not matter which one of these you choose. And I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. And it's going to add a really nice outline around everything. Now, we have that little weird thing going on. Um, it's actually a travel stitch. We're going to fix that. So I'm going to click on my pink petals again, and we're going to come to the upper left-hand corner and select reshape object. And the green diamond is my start point or where my needle enters the fill. And I'm just going to move it. So it was at this little point here. And I'm going to kind of follow the travel stitch and move my start point so that it is at the other end of it. Um, this will not make it stitch really any differently. It just gets rid of that random travel stitch. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit escape. And we're ready to save. So I would save this. So file, save as. Um, I'm going to name this uh, sketched flowers or flower. And save it. And there are different things you can do. For example, this is just a standard step fill. If I double click to open object properties and try something like step pattern seven, I get this cool um, swirly effect. Or if I do say 23, I get it where it um, looks like it's kind of mirroring the pattern. Like it has little petal, uh, petals inside of the step fill. So there's all sorts of fun things you can play with on this. Um, I hope this was informational and that you learned something new. And I hope you have fun with your software. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. And we'll try to get to all of them. Um, but for now, thank you for watching. Um, and we'll see you next time.